Today we are exploring this absolutely incredible abandoned chateau. These cars look like they've been here for quite a long time. This must be one of the most incredible bedrooms I have ever stepped foot in. Oh my goodness me. I was definitely not expecting this. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very special video. Today I'm exploring probably one of those amazing chateaus I have ever explored. I've just got here and it looks stunning. Let's go check it out and see what we can find. So this place actually had its very own lake. Look at this guys, this is beautiful. You can imagine this on a summer's day with a little boat in there. Look, we've got some animals in there too. I'm not sure what that was actually. Do you know what that looked like? That looked like an otter. That actually did look like an otter. Was it an otter? It, it didn't look like a duck. That actually did look like an otter. Now, I'm pretty sure I have seen one here before. I was doing some pictures over the other side. And I'm sure that's what I was looking at, but maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you thought that was. So I'm, I'm sure you would have seen it on camera. So the main house just back through here look at this guys this place is breathtaking can you imagine living here oh my goodness me they have got so much grounds here it is it's on another level it really is i mean just imagine having this as your back garden seriously you could get lost in here <sighs> absolutely incredible so just walking up to the chateau now you can see this place is completely overgrown we've got a couple of cars parked outside a smart car and i'm not sure what the other one is yet and the back window has been broken on the car which is a shame oh my god look at this look how overgrown the driveway is you can see how long these cars have been here for somebody has definitely broken into that that's a real shame that is Smart car still looks quite intact. And again, you can see how long it's been there for. Oh, it's got a nice cream interior in it. Look at that, it's almost immaculate. Oh my God. So that was the main entrance just there. We've got quite a few little buildings here too. We've got this little one here. There's one there. And this is the main chateau now. It looks stunning. It really does look beautiful. Okay, let's have a little walk around and see if we can find a way in. Okay guys, we're gonna have a look in here first. Let's have a little peek and see what we can find. Oh, uh, put your torch on. Oh my God, there is a lot of stuff in here. My God, there is a hell of a lot of stuff in here. Wow, oh my God. This is cool, this is really, really cool. calendar here 2018 
Has the fridge got anything in it? No, the fridge has actually been cleared out, which is good. Quick look up here. I'm actually dying to get into the main house. I really am excited for the main house, but I thought I'd check this out first, just while we're here. Whoa. Oh my God, there is a lot of stuff in here. There is a hell of a lot of stuff in here. Let's have a quick peek up here. I don't think there's going to be a lot up here. No, it's just a very, very small bedroom. So I think what we'll do, we'll make a dash for the main house. Okay, so next building is this little, well, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what it is. It looks really cool though. I'm hoping it's going to be open. I'll try the main door first. No, the main door's locked, so let's have a look around this side. Aha, here we go. This is how we get in here. Uh, okay, bear with me, guys. Oh. oh my God. <laughs> I was not expecting this. My goodness me. Okay, this is special. Look at the ceiling in here. Oh, that is absolutely stunning. Wow. Oh, I really wasn't expecting that. Oh my God, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Is that open? What have we got in there? Just some paintings and rugs and stuff. Nothing of real interest. Guys, that ceiling, that ceiling is something else. That is really, really cool. And look at the doorway as well. The French are very religious, and I think most most chateaus like this have their own little chapel, which is pretty much what this is. <laughs> One of the most amazing chapels I've ever seen, I think, in someone's house. God, okay, I'm gonna take some quick pictures in here, then we're gonna move into the main building. Okay guys, we are now in this incredible chateau and I've got to say, this has got to be one of the most amazing I have ever filmed. I know I say that a lot, but when you see what's in here, it is going to blow you away. The first thing we are greeted with is this incredible staircase. I mean, I don't know which way to go. I think I'm going to go this way first, which looks to be the, the living room. <laughs> Look at this. Absolutely stunning, completely untouched. Look at all of these drinks. This place is incredible. I'm actually speechless. I cannot believe how good this is. It is in such good condition as well. There's no vandalism. Everything has just been left as it was. And look at the cobwebs coming from the ceiling. The cobwebs stretch from one side of the room to another. And that's not even exaggeration, look. Follow it all the way around here, all up the other side. My God. This is a very, very special place. It really is. And we've got a photograph here, look. Oh, this must have been the people who used to live here. The daughter and her dad at a wedding day. Or maybe another special event. Look at this. Even this has got a marble work top on it. <laughs> the curtains actually match the wallpaper as well. That's quite cool. I like that. The fireplace is breathtaking. It's still got logs on the fire which haven't been burnt. Look at this. It is absolutely incredible. You can probably hear the smoke alarm beeping in the background there. I think the batteries are wearing out on it. This guy looks very familiar on the fire, right? Don't, I don't think he's anyone famous, but he looks very, very familiar. Okay, let's move into the next room. So moving into the next room, which is the dining room. And again, it doesn't disappoint. Look at this. Now we can start to see signs of decay here. We've got, I think the window, no, that's a photo frame, which is falling out actually there. That's what the glass is on the floor. I don't think that's vandalism. I think that is just natural decay. Look at the ceiling in here, look, completely falling down. All the paint is falling off the wall. We've got paint pill like I've never seen. Look at it. My God. This is so incredible. And we've got a small bed in here. This must have been just a spare room for somebody, maybe a friend or family when they came over. 
But we move back into the dining room. Another incredible fireplace. And look at the condensation on that mirror. <sighs> this is a very, very special house. It really is. So as we continue in this direction, we're now moving towards, I don't know what this is, a utility room maybe? Look at this guys, everything is still here. Absolutely everything. There's a toilet there. Look at the size of this wardrobe. That's gotta be about 14 foot tall. I don't think I've ever seen one that big before. What is this? Okay guys, this is next level. This family actually had their very own lift. This is a lift that goes to the upper level. That, I mean, that couldn't have been cheap to put in. Oh my God, look at the cobwebs on this door. It just goes to show how long that hasn't been open for. Okay, as we move into the main kitchen, again, you can see it's covered in cobwebs, but look at the ceiling. That is a real shame. I cannot believe the decay in here. My goodness me, that is really, really sad. That is so bad as well. Oh my God. Oh, we've got a fridge here. Should we have a quick peek inside? Oh my God, that is disgusting. God. Cool. And again in here, let's see if there's any food. Yeah, look, all of the food is still in there too. We're trying on with breath and get a date. 2019 on those yogurts. Quick, shut that up again. <laughs> oh. Wow. God, look at that, that's fallen down there. Do you know, that could potentially kill someone if that fell on top of them. That is a big, big repair job, that. A massive repair job. Okay, let's have a look through here. So what have we got in here? Ah, we have a basement. Okay, let's go and have a look down in the basement and see what we can find down here. It looks very, very damp from here. Luckily it's not flooded, which is good, but it is very, very damp. Now we've got the main boiler here. That is a very, very big boiler. That is almost a commercial size boiler. And we've got a wine cellar. Sadly, there's not, many wine bottles left down here. There's a few down there with the corks in, which have still got some, some wine in. Yeah, they have, every, every one of those has still got wine in them. Lots of jam jars. The basement is like a blimmin' underground tunnel system. Look at this. Where on earth does this go? Nowhere. <laughs> it goes to a dead end. But I get the feeling that maybe once upon a time it went somewhere else. Right, let's get back out of this room and go and have a look at the other side. And we've still got another two levels to do upstairs yet. Okay, this is where it ends. Oh, is it? Yes, it is. Okay, guys, that is as far as we can go in here. So let's jump upstairs now and go and check out the first floor. Okay, guys, it is now time to have a look upstairs. So I'm going to walk around this incredible staircase. And you can hear that smoke alarm beeping around me. I think it's probably that one at the top of the stairs, to be honest. My God, this is incredible. Um, let's go this way first. Oh my goodness me. Wow. This has got to be one of the most impressive bedrooms I have ever stepped in. Oh my God. A very famous face on the wall there. Wow, guys, this is very, very special. Look at the bed. Again, the wallpaper matches the curtains. <laughs> this is incredible. This really is incredible. My goodness me. Okay, let's have a little quick look through here. Now, I have to be careful because that ceiling in that kitchen was very, very dangerous. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be around here somewhere. In fact, I think it's that corner in the bathroom. So I may not even go that far in here, to be honest. It's definitely around where that toilet is. You can see where it's all dropped down. 
But there's the bath, twin basins there. And again, guys, everything is still here. Absolutely everything is still here. Let's have a walk back through this way. I just felt that floor move then. That was really quite scary. Okay, so I think this is the lift. Yeah, there is the lift. So that's where the lift comes up. It's quite tight in here, actually. Very hard to maneuver a wheelchair or something around this corner, but that's where it comes up. Right, I think, oh, is this? Oh, this goes back into the bedroom. So this, this is actually a secret door. Look at that. Just gonna close it back up again. I didn't even notice that when I walked in. It actually blends in really well, although it is open. Wow, that's really cool that is. Okay, so I think we've got maybe an ensuite or something through here. Look at that swan, that's really cool. Um, yeah, there is an ensuite through here. And again, everything is in here. Look at that toilet seat, that's really cool that is, I like that. Oh my God, another bedroom, completely untouched. But look at the decay in here again, guys. God, look at these photos. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> that guy in the middle there looks like Enzo Ferrari. Like the spitting image of Enzo Ferrari, wow. <laughs> oh, look at these pictures up here too. God, look, that must have been their cruise yacht. Wow. Okay, let's have a quick look up here. So this is the other side. And we've got yet another bedroom. Oh, this one's special. Look at that. It's got its very own bath. Wow. Again, another beautiful fireplace. <sighs> wow. What a house. Again, guys, we've got cobwebs and signs of decay everywhere. Look at the state of that ceiling and the wall. Cobwebs all over the windows and the curtains. Again, there's more dead flies. There's water stains everywhere. Okay, well, we have got one more level to look up now. So let's continue up this staircase and see what we can find up here. Now it mirrors the lower image, the staircase. It's almost identical. Again, we've got spider webs hanging from the ceilings, look. All of these bugs. Ooh, another beeping smoke alarm. Oh, that's nice. I really like that wood there. God, look at the amount of stuff that's been left in here. Oh my goodness me. And look at that. That is beautiful. That just gives you some kind of idea how old this property is when you see woodwork like that. How that's been put together. Okay, we've got a small room here completely full up. All the dead flowers in here. Wow. I think we might have another room over in this corner too. Have a quick look in there. We've got an ensuite in there, look. I actually haven't counted how many bedrooms are in here. I will try and do that before I leave. These just appear to be storerooms. I mean, they obviously were bedrooms at one point, but judging by that stair lift, maybe with well, the lift, I mean, I've, maybe they were elderly who lived here. Maybe they've passed away. I don't know. It's very hard to tell. God, look at that as well. Okay, guys, we have got one more room to look in. Let's see what we can find in here. Again, look, another stunning bedroom. Everything has been left. Another fireplace. God, this house is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Wow. It's got like a tortoise shell effect, this one, look. All the clothes are still in there. It feels like that's actually warped, it has. Look at the water damage on it. What a shame, what a real shame. That must have cost an absolute fortune, that. Right, I think we've got the ensuite to have a quick look in. This is just here. Again, it's a really, really nice size, actually. And look at the cobwebs hanging from the ceiling all the way down to the bath. 
It just goes to show how long this house hasn't been lived in for. Right guys, well I think that is pretty much everything. So I'm gonna run around, do all my pictures, do my Instagram stories and a TikTok video and I'll see you back outside again very, very shortly. Right guys, well that is it for today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. That place was special. That was one of the best explores I think I've ever done. It's just absolutely blown me away. I cannot believe a house like that could be left with all that stuff inside it. It's incredible. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explorer underscore. Also go and check out the Facebook page. Like always, I'll put all the pictures on Facebook. 10 of us from Instagram, and we'll see you on next week's video.